Hey, Every Nation family, welcome to day three of our week of prayer and fasting. I trust that God's grace and strength has been carrying you throughout the week so far and that he's been meeting you uniquely during this time. I'm excited to get into the word with you all today. And today's topic is God is sovereign. Now, Job is one that is often cited when we go through trouble. We relate to him uniquely during those times of our lives. We're all familiar with the troubles that Job faced, loss, death, disease, relational troubles, and even navigating trouble in his own soul. But I love the revelation and the perspective that Job comes out with by the end. In chapter 42, verse two, Job declares, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours will be thwarted. Praise God. Ultimately, Job came to a place where he was able to grasp the sovereignty of God. And we can find comfort in knowing the sovereignty of God, knowing that one, God sees. He sees exactly where we are as we are. God's eye was on Job the whole way, and his eye is on us as we navigate troubles as well. God also sees our need right where we are. And he beyond that sees where we're going and where he is going and how his purposes will be fulfilled in the earth. He's like hundreds of steps ahead of where we are and what we can see. Not only does God see, but God is also working in the midst of our troubles. This God that we've already declared to be great and good this week is working. He's not just working to change our circumstances, but he's working to fulfill our purposes and his purpose in the earth. In God's sovereignty, not only does he see, but he brings us to a place where we can begin to see as well. As mentioned, Job came to a place where he was able to see God's sovereignty and that no matter what, God's purposes could not be thwarted in the earth. When we're able to see and grasp the sovereignty of God, it actually impacts our spiritual leaning. It impacts whether we come to the circumstances that we're in with eyes of faith or see them through eyes of frustration and doubt. Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him and who have been called according to his purpose. I think the key is those who have been called according to his purpose. Part of the work that God does in us in the midst of trouble is to align our hearts to his purpose and not our own. Ultimately, it's his purpose that will not be thwarted. And sometimes our hearts have to be aligned to what God is actually up to in the midst of what we're going through and also in the earth. So we have a bigger vision of what's going on in our lives and how it's being used to fulfill God's purposes in the earth. Finally, in God's sovereignty, not only does he help us to have greater vision and sight for his purposes, but he also helps us to see him. Job goes on to say in chapter 42, verses five and six, I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. Therefore, I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. See, Job had heard of God. He had had an idea of what God was like and what he was up to, but God brought Job into a deeper revelation and insight into who he was. There's comfort in knowing that in Christ, through his death, burial, and resurrection, that we can embrace God's sovereignty in our lives, and that as we walk with him, our lives are part of God's overall purpose of redemption and restoration of creation. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your sovereignty. Thank you that you see us and that you're working in and through our lives. Thank you that your word is true, that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be thwarted. Thank you for what you did on the cross to bring us into relationship with you and participation into your purposes in the earth. Open our eyes to see you and to see you at work as you fulfill those purposes. This week and throughout this year, continue to align our hearts with your purposes for us and in the earth, that we may find hope and comfort in you and your sovereignty. In Jesus' name, amen.